If you love Pokemon cards and you love to invest in Pokemon cards, you're always going to ask yourself, what's the next thing that's going to make you a lot of money? I think a lot of people continue to ask themselves that. And today we're going to talk about it. So if you like investing content, if you like Pokemon content, please subscribe right here. It goes a long way. Leave a like and subscribe on your thoughts on this video. So let's get into it. So for today's video, we're going to talk about the new set that came out around two weeks ago, Paldea Evolve. I think it's a good set in my opinion, but is it going to be the best set in Scarlet and Violet era? I don't think so. Scarlet and Violet is already coming out with a set called 151. I already think that set is better than this set. When I look at sets to invest in, I like to ask myself questions. I have to look at what Pokemon is Pokemon brand? Like what are the most popular Pokemon that are in the Pokemon brand? In my opinion, it's like Charizard, Rayquaza, Pikachu, Gengar, Garatina. Lugia, Pokemon like that. They're really, really expensive Pokemon. And if they come up with a good card, most cases, those cards are going to be expensive, right? I asked myself that question in this set. What are the five chase cards in this set? There is no popular Pokemon except for Tyranitar. The Tyranitar is not an alternate art. It's not like a special illustration rare in my opinion. It's just an art rare. So it's a card that's not very hard to obtain. This set is a very good set. Don't get me wrong. I do like this set. And I do think if you buy this set, you will make money. Are you going to make the most amount of money if you compare it to like Evolving Skies or Brilliant Stars and things like that? Probably not. This is a good set, but it's just not the strongest set in my opinion. There's still a lot of hype. The set is still very, very new. In a year's time, I would invest in this set. Anyways, I'm just going to look through the cards and just let you know my opinion on this set for what it is. This chase card, this Iono, is a very nice card. I do love it. I'd rather have it in Japanese because the quality is far superior than English. This Magikarp I have in Japanese. These cards, they're pretty expensive still. This Magikarp, it's only an art rare and it's like $70 Canadian. The same thing with this Raichu and this Tyranitar. They are very, very nice cards. I just want to make myself clear. Those are very, very nice cards, but they're art rares. They're not special illustration rares. They're pretty easy to pull. And for a Tyranitar to be like $60, that's absurdly expensive in my opinion. So I would not invest in those cards right now. Do what you want with your money, right? Like, of course, but those cards are pretty easy to pull. This Iono full art, it's nice, but the secret rare is nicer. This Dendra is nice. Again, I'm not very into the waifu cards. I like Pokemon cards more than the waifu cards, but I can't ignore the factors that there are investors and collectors of waifu, right? I think honestly the best card in this set is this Grusha and probably this Raichu. That's just my opinion though. I am interested on what your favorite card in this set is. So let me know in the comments what your favorite card is. And if you don't agree with my Grusha and Raichu opinion, but again, this set is very, very nice. These starter Pokemon, I'm not a big fan, right? Like if I had to choose, I'd rather have like a Squirtle or a Charizard or the Kanto Pokemon, just my opinion. This uh, Kua Kuaiva, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these three starters, but I'm just not a big fan. Again, I said it in my last video, I'll put it up here, but the story that the Pokemon have, I like it to be honest. I like how Pokemon is making evolutions of stories. To have three PSA 10 cards that have a story, I think is really, really neat. So like, is that something to look at when you're investing in this set? It could be, you know, it could be. I'm not convinced in this set yet. I'm not convinced. Just because the three starters I'm not a big fan of, like this card I was gonna buy in Japanese, it's clean, but again, for long term, I don't think it's going to be a chase card. If you're looking at Scarlet and Violet, I don't think that's going to be a card. These three cards, this one, two, and three, I don't think those cards are going to be the top chase cards in the set. I don't think people are going to want them in the future. They're just, I don't know. I don't think they're going to have that, that connection to the investors or collectors 10 years down the road. Don't get me wrong. This is a very, very clean set. The Dendra is very clean. The Grusha is my favorite card. This card's nice. This Wochang is nice. I like it. It's just, again, Again, it's just not the best card to invest in, in my opinion. I have this card in Japanese. This card is very, very clean. I think I think this card is actually underrated. I think it should be like more than these cards, but that's just my opinion. And then the set, it's okay. Like it's mid. I just compare this set to like a Battle Styles. I think it'll do better than Battle Styles. That's just what I think of what Scarlet and Violet is already coming out with. I think this will be like Battle Styles in Sword and Shield era, but we'll see. Let time do its thing and we will see in the future. I want to know on what you guys have to say about this set. I'm a big Slow King fan, but I don't like this card. This Terra card or 
I don't even know what it's called, but I just don't like this diamond effect. Like, it's kind of like a shiny effect. I don't like it. I think the shiny effect should stay in Hidden Fates. You know, it was good back then, but now these are just not it. But yeah, I think it's a good set, but I just don't think it's going to be the strongest set. I think it's going to be a set where you can make money, but it's just not going to be the strongest set 10 years down the road, in my opinion, in Scarlet and Violet. So let me know your opinion on this video and your opinion on this set, and if you think it's going to be a good buy eventually. If you can buy it near MSRP, you know, well, sure, it'll be a good deal, but I just I just think there's still a lot of hype, especially in the singles. If you buy the singles right now, I don't think you're going to make money. At least in the short term, I think you'll lose money, and I don't think you'll be ha very happy with your investment. But I want to know your opinion on this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, do all that, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.